Hello everybody, this is Weisel Animal TV and today I'm going to introduce you the diving beetle. Diving beetles are nice pets, but there aren't many videos about diving beetles on YouTube, probably because they aren't as popular. I don't know why they aren't that popular, because to some people they are better pets than mantids or dogs and cats. They live in water, so... If you like fish, you could get a diving beetle. Diving beetles make up the family of the Dicidae, if I pronounced it right. It might be the Tiscidae or something like that, because it's Latin. They have strong hind legs for swimming, which have a lot of fur. And they have those sharp mandibles for chewing and hunting. They also have the four front legs for grasping their prey or just holding, like you can see in the video. Diving beetles breathe normal air like humans. They don't absorb the air from water. They put their abdomens out of the water and breathe air. But they don't just breathe air and come back like humans. They breathe air and store the air under their wing cases. And the diving beetles can collect a little bit of oxygen from the surrounding water. But eventually, the diving beetles run out of air, so they just release the bubble of air from under their wing cases, and they go to the surface to breathe some new air. So setting up a diving beetle tank is really easy, maybe even easier than some fish. You will need some substrate, driftwood, rocks, aquatic plants, and land. For substrate, you can use gravel or sand. You can use almost anything you use for fish, like driftwood, rocks, and aquatic plants. I have some coontails, eelgrass, world water milfoil, and water thymes. You can also use plants like water wisteria and java ferns. So the last thing is land. You can just use gigantic rocks that sprout out of the water. Or, or you can use floating aquatic plants like the water hyacinth. A piece of styrofoam would also be okay. And you really need a lot of hiding places for your diving beetle because they really like to hide. So when you feed your diving beetles, you can give them a lot of things like meat or dried fish, fish food, insects, and a lot of things. So if you're gonna feed them something salty like dried seafood, you have to put that seafood in a cup with water for about an hour to get rid of the saltiness because, you know, these guys live in fresh water. Feed your diving beetles once in two or three days if it's not winter, and once in five or six days if it's winter. Diving beetles are predator insects, so the water gets dirty. So they could use some filters, but they also live in still water, so filters can disorient them. If you have a filter with a slow current, you can use that. If you don't have a filter with a slow current, you can go without a filter, but you should do water changes frequently, about once or twice in two weeks. To determine your diving beetle's gender, you must look at their front legs. Male diving beetles have suction cups on their front legs, while female diving beetles have legs like their middle legs. Diving beetles lay their eggs in the water like on rocks or sand, but they prefer aquatic plants. Diving beetle larvae eat each other, so when you spot diving beetle larvae, you have to separate them. Diving beetle larvae are also called water tigers. They like to eat fish or bloodworms. They can also eat insects like mealworms or crickets. Before diving beetles turn into pupae, they go out of the water and dig into the ground. After that, they turn into pupae inside the ground. If you keep water tigers as pets, you need soil so they can dig into the soil and become pupae. Diving beetles are predatory animals, so 
keeping fish with diving beetles may not be a good idea, but if the fish are almost the similar size as diving beetles or a little bit bigger than the diving beetles, the diving beetles might not eat the fish and eat only the leftover food. The best tank mate might be other diving beetles of the same species because diving beetles don't cannibalize each other, I mean the adults, unless they're dead. Diving beetles could be kept with other aquatic insects unless the diving beetles are very big or the aquatic insects are very small. So if you like fish and insects, I recommend the diving beetle as a pet. And this was the video. Bye bye.